Hi, welcome to this week's new product post here at prosopic.co.uk. We've got a fair amount of new products to run through. Uh, a little bit late this week uh, due to the holidays, but without further ado, here we go. Right, first of all, we've got the MP3 trigger here. Now, this is a product coming in from Sparkfun. Product number PPWIG-11029. Now, this MP3 trigger has 18 different triggers on it, which are available down here. You put your switch and pull the, the line down to ground, and that will trigger playback of the MP3 stored on the micro SD card here. You also have the ability to put a serial connection onto it and feedback the triggers to a microcontroller and have the microcontroller take action or play the particular files on that one. Now this will run on a 4.5 volt up to a 12 volt DC supply, supplied through this power jack here and the logic levels for the board are happy at 3.3 or 5 volt logic. And moving on, next we have an engineer's file. Now, we've been asked by some customers if we could start carrying more hardware tools for doing their work. Now this file is a relatively coarse file for doing work, 200 millimeters long and it's a, a flat profile on there. So it's ideal for making modifications to cases or putting your, your mounting holes into cases uh, after you've drilled them out. That would be nice for finishing them off and squaring them up. Next one we have the mini hacksaw. Now this is a mini hacksaw or junior hacksaw. Uh, it's a pistol grip style so you hold it like you would a, a gun rather than the Japanese style which you tend to hold the, the end and work, which I, I find very awkward myself. And we have the Draper Mini Hacksaw there. Next up, we have this motor kit. This motor kit is from Maxitronics. They do a lot of these projects. We have a, a couple of them coming up for you during this post. This is a motor action kit. Now, uh, what you do is you, you build this kit together. You actually hand wind your own motor, complete with the armature. Uh, hook up your batteries and you have the, the benefit of A, knowing how a motor works and B, actually producing something and you can say you've built that. And this is ideal for learning the basics of electromagnetism and motors. Now we have this AM radio kit, again from Maxitronics. Uh, this is supplied as a, a kit, so you get the, the base, separate knob, separate earphone, and the wires, the springs, and the components. These do need assembled. I'll open the, the box and let you have a, a quick look at the contents. So you get your base plate there, and you get a, a bag of components along with your springs and your earphone in there. You put that together, and I'll let you listen to the broadcast on between 520 kilohertz and 1625 kilohertz there. Pop the top back on that one. We also have this FM radio kit, again from Maxitronics. It's going along the same lines as the AM kit. You're supplied with the base unit, the bag of components, springs and wires, and you have to assemble this yourself. This one's you know, slightly different, and the range obviously covers on 88 megahertz through to 108 megahertz, which is standard FM band there. And again, this is ideal for showing you the uh, the workings of how a radio actually works and how a small amplifier works there as well. And again from Maxitronics, we have this AM-FM radio kit. This gives you a combination of an AM radio and an FM radio all in one. And again, supplied as the previous kits are with a base unit, a bag of component springs and wires. And that will build the... AM and FM radio part in the antenna for your AM is there, your antenna for your FM and this covers the same as the old other kits, 520 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz is your AM and 88 to 108 FM. Now this next pack is also from Maxitronics and this is the action kit and this supplies a 
a combination kit where you get the bell kit, the motor kit, a meter kit which we don't carry yet and the generator kit that we don't carry yet. And these kits are supplied as components. You have to hand wire the solenoid, your motor and simple your generator and your meter. And this uh, is ideal for showing the basics in electronic circuits design and assembly. Next up we have this electronic playground. Now it's a 50 in 1 kit as you can see on the top here. We have the spring type connection so it's very easy for even a, a beginner or young child to use all the way up to somebody who's just want to learn about electronics and the, the differences of components and how to use them in a, a design. Now this is supplied complete and ready to go. All you have to do is supply a battery for the kit and it comes complete with a 76 page manual laying out your 50 projects as stated there. And as you can see with the kit you can build various projects like a finger touch lamp and get it bridge and there's quite a few other experiments in there as well. Moving up we have the big brother to the previous kit. This is the electronic playground 130. This is a Exactly the same type of layout as far as the components go. It gives you the components, their values, and again the spring connectors for ease of use. It also gives you the ability to build 130 different projects on here. And you can, of course, design your own circuits, assemble them, and test them and see how they go on here. Now, as you can see, this one's slightly different. We have a transformer, a digital display here, potentiometer. As the previous one did, there's radio circuits in here as well, and there's a couple of integrated circuits to start uh, experimenting with the uh, the chip style devices. And finally, for this week's post, we have the Maxitronics 201. Now this is the the big daddy to all the kits we do. It's one of the largest kits, and as the name implies, you can build 200 projects using the manual supplied with this and again the design is as we've seen in the other kits there the components with their markings the spring terminals for connecting the wires the front panel here is slightly different uh, you do have a, a tuning control there these are the uh, variable capacitors and resistors for building uh, radios or uh, similar type projects. You have a level meter on here as well. There's a small digital meter on here and a display on the front. This particular model takes AA batteries. Again, they're not supplied in the box, so it's worthwhile ordering those at the same time. Now that concludes this week's new product post. Thanks very much for watching.